With the Sixers trading away James Harden and getting role players in exchange, it doesn't seem that they should be taken seriously. I mean, the Sixers couldn't even beat last year's Celtics team with James Harden, now they're without their dynamic playmaker, and other contenders across the league have made major moves to bolster their title odds. Well, what if I told you that the James Harden trade was actually genius from the Sixers perspective, and that they actually still have a team that can compete right now. In this video, we'll discuss how the James Harden trade actually sets up the Sixers master plan for next summer, and why the Sixers should still be their competitive team this season. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel, and be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. In trading away James Harden, the Sixers lost last year's assist leader and an all-star caliber guard. This situation was far from ideal, given that Harden wasn't extension eligible for any team that traded for him, that was obviously going to bring down his value. However, the Sixers got a pleasant haul given the circumstances, receiving solid role players, an unprotected 2028 first, two seconds, a 2029 pick swap, and a protected first in 2026. Given that Nick Nurse and the 76ers had been rolling, this trade allows them to remain competitive this season, increases their draft capital, and most importantly, gives them maximum cap flexibility for next offseason. The Sixers made a curious choice by not extending Tyrese Maxey this past summer as he's been instrumental to what they've done over the past few seasons and is obviously part of their future plans. But by delaying that extension, they could have $55 million in cap space next summer and still be able to resign Maxey and go over the cap to do so since they have his bird rights. With $55 million in cap space, they can go after one max player of a deep 2024 free agency class. That includes Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Pascal Siakam, among others. There's no guarantee that the Sixers will sign those guys, but the prospect of playing with the league MVP and a rising star Tyrese Maxey should be appealing and a potential big three here could be a scary sight in the Eastern Conference. However, that's what the future might hold for the 76ers. So how exactly are they doing right now? Well, the team has won four straights and is now 4-1 on the season. Tyrese Maxey and the role players have stepped up big time in James Harden's absence, and Nick Nurse has proven to be a noticeable step up from Doc Rivers. First and foremost, Joel Embiid is still amazing and is playing at an MVP caliber level. He's won the scoring title for the past two NBA seasons, is one of the most talented centers that we've ever seen offensively, he's a game changer defensively as well, and though he was a part of a controversial MVP last year, that should make us overlook how insane of a force that he is. He's averaging 29 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists and 2 blocks this season on 50% from the field and 47% from 3. Next up, we need to talk about Tyrese Maxey's expected rise for this season and now he's living up to his lofty expectations. In Maxey's rookie season, he rode the bench and only played in 15 minutes per game. But, with the whole Ben Simmons situation dragging the way it did, he was tasked with being the team's starting point guard, a position that he admitted that he never played up to that point. However, Tyrese quickly broke out to be a highly efficient option for the Sixers in both the regular season and playoffs, essentially doubling his production from 2021. He averaged 18 points and 4 assists, but more importantly, shot 49% from the field and 43% from 3 in 2022. Maxi has since improved every season he's been in the league, and when people expected him to step up in Harden's absence, he absolutely has. He's averaged an insane 26 points, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds this season on 49% from the field and 47% from 3 on 7 attempts a game. 
Tyrese is only 23 years of age, and given his steady rise throughout the years, he will be an all-star consideration this season and be one of the best guards in the league moving forward. Another sixer balling out in Harden's absence is Tobias Harris, a player who's averaging the most points in his Philadelphia tenure on the same amount of shots that he took last season. He's averaging 20 points per game and 6 rebounds on 65% from the field and 44% from 3 and is getting to line more than double than he did last season. That efficiency is going to come back to earth since it's only been 5 games, but an efficient Tobias Harris makes the Sixers all the more dangerous. In terms of bargain deals of this offseason, Kelly Oubre should be near the top of every list. The Sixers signed him to a one-year deal worth $2.8 million this offseason after he just averaged 20 points per game last season in Charlotte. It was notably an inefficient 20 points per game, but he's averaging 21 points per game this season on 54% from the field and 45% from three on six attempts per game. As a whole, the Sixers have impressed greatly on both ends of the floor having the 4th best offense with an offensive rating of 118.7, the 5th best defense with a defensive rating of 106.2, and having the 2nd best net rating in the league at 12.5. This can be attributed to players stepping up, but Nick Nurse has shown to be an improvement over Doc Rivers over 5 games. Doc was the coach for the Sixers since the 2021 season, but he was fired this offseason after another postseason blunder, and with the lack of adjustments that always loomed over his head, being a detriment to the team. Moreover, the team hired Nick Nurse this offseason, who is not the perfect coach, but one that proved to be pivotal in the Raptors winning the 2019 NBA title and overachieving in both the 2021 and 2022 seasons. The hope is that Nurse can continue to bring that championship pedigree and in-game adjustments in comparison to his predecessors in Doc Rivers and Brett Brown. Overall, the 76ers did right in the James Harden deal by not only staying competitive this year, but by maintaining flexibility in the upcoming summer to build the best possible roster surrounding Joel Embiid and a younger Tyrese Maxey who can be one of the best players in the league. I don't personally see the Sixers on Boston's level right now, but they're definitely in the conversation as one of the next best teams in the Eastern Conference. They have an elite offense and defense, they have a solid roster, and they had the league MVP. With that being said, be sure to comment down below your thoughts on the 76ers and your expectations for them this season and in free agency. Where do you rank Philly among the NBA's top teams right now? And also, who would be your dream 2024 free agent to pair with both Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel and be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. Hope to see you all in the next one and stay tuned.